Today I want to talk to you about a highly um, requested video, which is how to uh, stop Safari from opening tabs from a previous session in iOS. I, you guys have seen my original video with Mac OS. And that's pretty easy to do. But with iOS, it's a little bit more complicated. The short answer, you can't really do it. iOS is not meant for that. So let's uh, take a look at the iOS settings and see what we have. So you would go up here to iOS settings. It's just settings. I don't know why I called it iOS settings, but it's just settings. And then we would go to um, Safari. So we've been in the Safari settings. If I can ever find it. Where am I going? Safari, Safari. There we go. I passed it right up. So we go into Safari. And here you have preload top hits, your search engine preference, search engine suggestions, quick website search on, then you have autofill, favorites, block pop-ups, extensions, downloads, and then here is where you we are focusing on. Here we have open links and close tabs. Close tabs is what you want. Now you'll notice that you have one, two, three, four options. You have to do it either manually or they'll close after one day, after one week, or after one month. There is no option to close tabs after each session because the iOS platform when you close an app and you just get out of it that is a app suspension and it's working in the background and that's what they want you to do by default they only want you to force quit an app which is where you would, um, like, let's say you would pull it up like this, and then um, you would close, like, your uh, Gmail or Facebook or Messenger, Facebook. Um, those are all um, force quit apps. So you kind of remove it from memory. So um, they don't want you to do that as a default because it hurts uh, memory and it starts and stops all the applications all the time. So they want you to simply suspend it and um, have it Simply close apps like this. Here's Google Sheets, and then you can simply raise up to close it. And that's not force quit, will be the equivalent on macOS. They don't want you to do that, they just want you to have them suspended. 
So it's a different architecture between iOS and macOS, and that's why it's only, there is no uh, closing of tabs, uh, tabs after every session. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. Please like and subscribe, and I hope this answered your questions about closing Safari tabs on iOS after every session. The short answer is uh, you can't do that, and that's simply because that's not how iOS works. All right, guys, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.